Hello, hello from beautiful Helmno, a town nearby um, Helmja, where I live. I'm just outside the lovely church uh, and I wanted to tell you a little story about the town and the very interesting thing that is located inside of that church because Helmno is called the town of people in love and why that is well i think it's because of saint valentine who basically his relics are located inside of this beautiful church and uh, every year saint valentine's day is celebrated hugely in in Helmno. there are lots of competitions for people in love um, and you know things like uh, cooking competitions running competitions everything for the ones who who are in love <laughs> and um, yes it's a lovely lovely town with a fantastic atmosphere we absolutely love coming here with my mama especially on a day like this when it's a little bit warmer and sunny so i just wanted to show you if i can and we can be quiet where the relics of saint valentine's are if the church is open of course i have no idea because we've just arrived with mama and there you go See if I can find the relics. Nope, not here. <laughs> we really have to be quiet for obvious reasons. Do you have any idea why these deer heads are in Polish churches? There is one in the cathedral in Helmsha as well. And to be honest, I have no clue why that is. Do you know? <laughs> if you know, let me know. Right, the relics. Okay. Oh, I think I can see them. There we go. Good luck for anybody who wants to find real love. <laughs> There's a lovely nativity scene as well. Oh, just gorgeous. Beautiful. So to show you the relics of one of the important most important saints ever what I like about this um, altar is that only part of it was restored to show the original on the left that hasn't been done I think it's on purpose rather than just a uh, neglect um, but I 
think it's absolutely stunning, beautiful architecture. And these organs are also absolutely gorgeous and stunning. There we go, this is our wonderful Pope, John Paul II. Really lovely picture of him. so happy we made it we did it so I hope you enjoyed that little secret tour of that um, church and seeing the actual relics of um, St. Valentine uh, Helmna is there you go is full of beautiful historical buildings and uh, here behind me you can see the wonderful Town Hall, which I absolutely love. The colors, white and blue, are just gorgeous. And I wanted to show you uh, what it actually looks like from this side. I've lost my mama for some reason. I told her I'm just gonna go into the church for a while. But I'm sure I'll find her, it's a small town. So, Helmna is uh, located in Kuyavsko-Pomorskie county by the Vistula river and is located on the seven hills. So it's very hilly and let me show you the view, the stunning view of the, the town hall. There it is. Oh, isn't it beautiful? It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this old fountain. I'm not sure if it works. I don't think it does. Is it? No, I don't think so. No. <gasps> as soon as I touched it, <laughs> there was a bell ring. Oh, there you go. So one of the interesting things about this town hall is one day my mama said, let me show you the painting of the gypsy that I have um, in the town hall. And I said, what, what do you mean? Will you show me your painting? And she said, yes, there is a, another copy of that painting and it's located in this town hall. So I'm not sure if you remember the, the painting of the gypsy my mama has, but yes, there is an exactly same copy of it in this town hall. Uh, just slightly lighter in my opinion and it turned out it was like this local painter who um, who made quite a few of these copies and yeah so one is in my mama's room and another one is here and we have no idea who the original artist is one day I'm gonna make a video about it this is a lovely Christmas tree square and the square is quite large uh, with a lovely working fountain that we see in the, in the spring and yes it's a, it's a beautiful town full of old historic buildings full of history stories I think it was set up in 1233 and it was a Teutonic town because you know we were invaded by the Teutonic Knights of the of the Black Cross ages ago. There's a big part of Polish history in it. So I think what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go with Mama, who's running away from me. Mama, gdzie idziesz? A gdzie idziesz? Idziemy jeść? A czemu? Nie? Pójdziemy jeść. Na żurek. <laughs> My mama says she wants to go for for lunch 
or dinner as we say in Polish later. Uh, there is a beautiful, wonderful restaurant just around the corner from here with a very traditional Polish food. One of them is Jurek. It's a soup with a, an egg and pieces of sausage and some potatoes. And obviously they make the best steaks with salads and um, yes, lots of traditional Polish dishes, which are very heartwarming, which are perfect for colder months and for winter. My mama is just showing me some posters. So mama. So Ah, te. Uh, stare te obrazki. Mama as you show me, there is a display of lovely old photographs for the town. Which I think it's lovely to see that the town really cherishes its history. Uh, oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, they look like some old posters advertising the hotels. Wow, that's really, really good. That's new, I must say. We haven't seen that before. <gasps> 1951. <laughs> A group <laughs> playing the guitar and accordion. Oh, some lovely ladies. Yeah, beautiful. Wow. Right. I hope you've enjoyed that little tour. Introduction, really, to Hamna. I'll try to do more in the future. To, to tell you more about the area that I come from and give you some interesting facts about it. So I think we're gonna have a little stroll with Mama and then end up in the lovely restaurant with Polish traditional food. Sending you lots of love. Thank you for everything, for your support and your kind comments. Please subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more of my, um, of my videos in the future. Kisses.